Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try the problem on your own. Okay, so here we're told to order the following numbers from the smallest to the largest. And here they are, written in scientific notation. So first we'll just write these numbers out in standard form to get a sense of it, and then we'll talk about some really nice shortcuts that we can use so that we don't need to write these numbers out each time. So here they are, right? we have 3 times 10 to the 4, 3.1 times 10 to the 3rd, and 9 times 10 squared. And if we write these in standard form, what do we get? We get 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? The decimal place moves over 4 times because we multiply 3 by 10 4 times, that's 30,000. Then we have uh, 3, 1, 0, 0. Here the decimal moves 3 places from between 3 and 1 over 1, 2, 3. That's 3,100. And then we have a 9 followed by two zeros. Now if I line these numbers up with in their appropriate place value. That will help us a little bit. Move this over here. Okay, it becomes clear that 30,000 is larger than 3,100 and, and certainly larger than 900. So we can then write our answer down. We have 3 times 10 to the 4th, which I'll write as 3e4. E means same thing, 3 times 10 to the 4th. Then we have 3.1e3 e and then 9e2. Now, uh, what are some shortcuts? Well, you might notice that with uh, these numbers, the largest exponent corresponds to the largest number, and the middle exponent, 3, right, 3 is smaller than 4, corresponds to the middle number, and then the smallest exponent corresponds to the smallest number. Now, this is always true for positive numbers, so let's say it this way. If we have a times 10 to the b, so you have a number in scientific notation, and it is positive, so let's say this is true, then... Um, the larger the b value, the larger the number. And we could rephrase this by saying that the larger the exponent, the larger the number. Right? So the larger the b value, the larger the number. Or the larger the exponent, the larger the number. So the first thing you want to compare is the exponent that controls the base of 10, which is always going to be larger than the a value, because a is between 1 and 10. And that will tell you right away what the biggest number is. Now, of course, if you have two numbers with the same exponent, let's just say you have 3.1 times 10 to the 4th versus 3 times 10 to the 4th. So in this scenario, um, 3.1 is larger. We know that because even though the exponents are equal, once we've established that, we can compare these first factors here. And the larger the first factor is, the larger the number. Now, with negative numbers, the opposite is true. And we'll get into that in other problems. But basically, if with positive numbers, the larger the exponent, the larger the number, uh, the opposite is true. With negative numbers, the larger the exponent, the smaller the number. And we'll talk a little bit about that um, in the upcoming problems. Thanks.